Lily. Hey, there you go. Yeah, just say most popular. Yeah. Hi, Puddin. Like he's holding up a 308 and he's like, you know what I mean? Oh, okay. Well, then yeah. do it. Hey guys, and welcome back to the Adam Ridge YouTube channel. <laughs> Today, the boys went out to the shop, got a couple rifles, and we're going to talk about caliber here. The differences between the two, what's better for you, that sort of thing. So, the rifles that we picked are essentially the exact same gun. The primary differentiation here is the caliber. So, we have got the H&K MR556A1, super, super high quality rifle made by Heckler & Koch. Heckler and Coke. I mean, this thing is truly sick. So the fact that we got both of these in today at the same time, we were prompted to do a video. Colin, tell them a little bit about the 7.62. This is the MR 7.62A1 made by HK, Heckler and Coke. And it is actually um, one of the, it's actually the civilian version of the 417. And the one Mike just showed y'all is actually the civilian version of the 416. 416, 417 obviously being the automatic versions of them. Um, but what's cool about these, for starters, it's piston driven, so they run a lot cleaner, a lot cooler than your uh, typical direct impingement ARs. Um, also, they have a uh, cold hammer forged barrel uh, in both of them, just like most HK platforms. So they are very durable barrels with a very long life expectancy, which is really nice. Very accurate as well. Yes. Cold hammer forged is the way to go. So. Mm -hmm. if you're buying an AR and somebody tells you it's anything but cold hammer forge, know that they cut corners to save money. Yeah. Colin was telling me a little bit about the ballistics and the differences between these rounds, and they're not as substantial as you would think. No, it's uh, they're actually very similar uh, as far as trajectory goes, um, just because of the speed of the 223 or 556. It's a lot hotter round, so it's, it shoots a lot straighter. Uh, a lot flatter. You're going to lose energy a lot quicker with the 5.56 than you would with the 308. Uh, you're also going to have a little bit more bullet drop at the 308 than the 5.56. Uh, you have about 400 more foot pounds uh, at 400 yards with the 308 than the 5.56. And you're going to be, both of them drop around two feet at 400 yards, but they're so comparable when it comes to accuracy, all within 500 yards, that there's not any one outlier between the 5.56 and the 308 in terms of accuracy as long as you're shooting within 400, 500 yards. So, best thing to really do to talk about between these two rounds is what happens at point of impact. Right, right, exactly. And, and your purpose for shooting, what you're shooting, uh, that sort of thing. So, um, let's dig into that a little bit, right? So. Again, these are going to be the AR calibers that we sell most commonly here at the shop. It's either going to be 5.56 or it's going to be 308. So, what caliber is right for you? Now, the 5.56 is going to be an excellent home defense round um, and it's going to allow for a much higher capacity. Mm -hmm. Just between these two rifles that we have here, this magazine actually holds 30 rounds of 5.56 ammunition as opposed to 20 rounds of 308 ammunition. Now, when both of these guns are fully loaded, the 7.62 by 51 is going to be substantial substantially heavier and you can tell even these guns bone dry and naked i mean this is pretty easy to put up to your shoulder colin and i were playing both of the with both of these earlier uh hk makes a fantastic platform so these are going to be a lot lighter and more high quality than most ars and i mean i'm mean, just picking it up and half this man it's it's a big boy yeah it, it really really is a big boy getting into that this would be my preference for a home defense rifle and a home defense caliber overall. You're not going to have to worry so much about the over penetration with 5.56. It is going to allow for a quicker reset between those trigger pull because that recoil is going to be substantially less. You're not going to have the muzzle flip every single time you pull the trigger. And if I'm in a situation where I need to defend my house, I would rather have the capacity mm. and the ability to string more shots together quicker. That is why I like 5.56. But Colin, why would somebody pick 308? Oh, uh, well, the purposes for 308 is if someone wasn't necessarily looking for a quote unquote self defense rifle, but just an all around rifle, uh, one to go hog hunting with, deer hunting with, um, use if you do need to use it for self defense. Um, but really, just an all around rifle. Um, given with 223, you can hunt things like varmint, you know, you can shoot 5.56 at coyotes, that sort of thing. Um, but with the 308, I mean, you you got hogs, deer, turkey, um, home defense, just fun shoot at the range, though both of them are. 
Um, but really, your options open up a little bit more when you go to something like 308, though the 5.56 has been tested and proven as a superior round to 308 in self-defense um, scenarios. Right, and when we talk about self-defense, we're talking about defending your home, right. your property, your family. Mm -hmm. If you need to defend yourself by punching through a car door, <laughs> yeah. Guys, 308. We need, yeah, we need 308, right? <laughs> yeah. But you Sketchy. need to consider who you're hanging out with. <laughs> like, you're, you're, you know, you need to improve your life decisions. <laughs> That's what you need to protect your family. Yeah. Um, but ultimately, now another thing that I will say, and, and it sounds like I'm, I'm just giving all of the credit here to 556. Five, I'm not. I love 308. I mean, I've, I've said it before. This Car 17S is probably my favorite battle rifle that's ever been made. Um, the Gen 2 got even better than that, but. 5.56 five, is so much less punishing to sight in, not just on your body, but on your ears as well. Mm -hmm. um, if you have ever shot 308 indoors unsuppressed, you remember it. Uh, the first time I shot at an indoor range, the first trigger pull immediately after it was ooh yeah. for yeah. all 20 rounds. Mm -hmm. um, and I've only got two ears, and I would like to keep them functional as long <laughs> as possible. Um, you know, when you're talking about situ situational awareness and being yeah. able to protect yourself, yeah. being able to hear things yeah, is pretty high one. up on there, probably mm -hmm. second only to seeing things. <laughs> yeah. Right? So I want to protect my ears, um, and I want to protect my shoulder as well. So the 5.56 five, is far less punishing to side in. Mm -hmm. But when you're talking about a do everything rifle, like you were, the 308 does sound like it definitely has a little bit more practical application if you are hunting. Yeah. Um, you know, I mean, Colin, you've been hog hunting before. Would you take a 556 five, hog hunting? No, no, no way. And elaborate on that. Uh, well, 556 five, just doesn't have enough stopping power, to be honest with you. It, it's kind of an old coin term, but it really, I've seen hogs take a lot of. Uh, small diameter bullets and though they be packing they be packing a lot of velocity they do not have enough uh to sometimes cut through the big boys and all that fat so i would rather take something that i know has a little bit more power to it something to incline to blow out a shoulder or something rather than just poking a small hole through them hopefully deeply so if you're really looking to at least wound the hog um, I would take the 308 because you might have trouble looking for blood on the ground if you were to take something like a 223. That's, I mean that's an excellent point as well so I mean guys those are just some of our thoughts on the primary differences between calibers here and the, again the reason why we picked the HK is just because they came in as a pair and they're going to be as closely related as any two guns can be of a different caliber. Um, now, the beauty of it is, is if you like either one of these, they're both available at Attlebridge. So guys, as always, you can come out and see us 7080 San Pedro Avenue. We are open until 7 p.m. Monday through Friday, Saturday till 5, and we open our doors every day right at 10 a.m. But until next time, make sure you comment down below what you want to see next, and ring the bell! <laughs> Y'all make this so easy for me. I love it. <laughs> <laughs>